They were kept in cage-like structures, they were tied to beds, they were blindfolded in diapers, they were stripped naked and electrocuted, they were suspended from ceilings and they were waterboarded. While we know 10 IDF soldiers have been arrested for this, we don't know what they have been really, whether it was the same conduct, whether it was the gang rape which led to their arrest, but also we saw a mob form outside where these soldiers were held to say that they should be freed and that they had, been, they had done nothing wrong. Of course, under international law, rape is never ever justifiable. There is no defense against rape. Rape in this instance would not only be considered a war crime in the sense that it is a great breach of the Geneva Conventions, it would also likely come with an other war crimes which are being committed, such as torture, so especially gang rape, that would definitely amount to torture. A harrowing video has recently emerged of a Palestinian detainee being gang raped by Israeli soldiers in an Israeli detention center. A UN experts report from a few days ago chronicles the other circumstances around which this has happened and the circumstances in which detainees are held, including the gang rape and the sexual violence meted out to detainees, noting that they were kept in cage-like structures. They were tied to beds, they were blindfolded in diapers, they were stripped naked and electrocuted, they were suspended from ceilings and they were waterboarded. And at the, their conclusion in all of this, especially noting the reaction from Israeli leadership and the reaction from Israeli society at large, seems to be that Israel's moral compass, they say, is lost. Now, we often see, see especially for war lawyers in active hostilities, um, there are often instances of rape, when there is an armed conflict. This is a little bit different from that in the sense that there are no active hostilities here. You are kept, being kept in a detention center in which no other physical harm can, be, can come to you and there they are being gang raped. The Palestinian detainees are being gang raped. So the reaction from Israeli leadership and society is perhaps incredibly alarming in all of this. The finance minister Bezalel Smotrich called for arrest of those filming saying that they were damaging, they were causing damage to the image of Israel. Ben Gavir, the national security minister, said that any action, even gang rape, is permissible if it is undertaken for the security of the state. And finally, a member of the Likud said that everything is legitimate e if he is an, a Hamas militant, even gang rape. And this was in response to an Arab minister asking if rape can ever be justified and saying, yes, it is if they are a Hamas militant. Of course, under international law, rape is never ever justifiable. There is no defense against rape. Rape in this instance would not only be considered a war crime in the sense that it is a great breach of the Geneva Conventions, it would also likely come with an other war crimes which are being committed, such as torture, so especially gang rape, that would definitely amount to torture. And also, the fact that Palestinian detainees are being raped as a form of punishment would also amount to collective punishment. The UN experts report also says that they now have reason to believe that rape is being committed as a crime against humanity, which means that it is being committed in a widespread or systematic manner against the civilian population, which means those uh, held in detention centers, those Palestinians held in detention centers. While we know 10 IDF soldiers have been arrested for this, we don't know what they have been really, whether it was the same conduct, whether it was the gang rape, which led to their arrest, but also we saw a mob form outside where these soldiers were held to say that they should be freed and that they had, been, they had done nothing wrong. So looking at that, also in light of the statements by the Israeli leadership, it seems to preclude the fact that you can have a genuine and able and willing prosecution of these IDF soldiers. And so for that, we'd really be looking for the ICC to step in, to include that as a charge, and also to make sure that if Israel is doing it, if it is trying, prosecuting, charging these men, it must do so in a way that is genuine. And if it doesn't, then the ICC would have to step in. And I think really the UN experts get it right in the sense that this is a state whose moral compass has completely been lost. And for that, we would be looking to the ICC to step in it and to do justice. Now, rape as a charge has not been included by the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court in his list of charges for which he seeks an arrest warrant against Benjamin Netanyahu and Yoav Gallant. While we saw that that was, was included as a charge against Hamas leaders, 
for what had happened to hostages in captivity, not really for October 7th, but what had happened to um, hostages in captivity. We did see that charge frame there. We don't see it here.